Watch you guys in this video we're going to be taking a look at how to build your own HTPC home entertainment system. Now this is the Silverstone case as you can see this is what I'm going to build mine into. It's USB 3 compatible and also it's aluminium built. And it's going to be taking up to a 13.5 inch graphics card if you want and up to 8 3.5 inch uh, hard drives in there as well. Um, so that's quite a lot of uh, storage you can have in there. It's a bit of a beast, it's a bit bigger than what I wanted. So let's get started. First off we've got the um, remote control here. This is the multimedia MCE remote control. You can get these on the internet and this will be able to control uh, the XBMC software which I'm going to be running on my Windows based system and you can see here it's pretty useful uh, to get one of these because it's just going to be so much more easier to use it's remote control and it should work like a champ so let's have a look at some other hardware that we've got now you can choose whatever hardware that you like that I'm going to be choosing this power supply which is the 750 watt it's a bit of an overkill but it's what I had to hand for free it's the Cooler Master GX uh, 750 watt bronze 80 cert 5 year warranty on this one so if you wanted a little bit less power you could also do that as well so I could have trimmed there a little bit but I had this one to hand for me so that's why I used it so uh, it's entirely up to you what power supply you do use as long as you've got enough power okay let's have a look at the uh, SSD drive the solid state drive it's an OCZ agility free uh, it's a 60 gig, 2.5 inch SATA free drive, this one. It's also got a maximum read of 525 megabytes per second and also a maximum write of 475 megabytes per second. It's got a 3 year warranty and has a sound forced 2200 controller on this one. Now this is going to really speed up our operating system when I install Windows 7 on it. You could put Windows 8 on it if you wish. But that's really going to speed the process up uh, once I've uh, installed that on the system. Okay, let's have a look at the actual memory here. We've got G-Skill 8GB DDR3, 1600MHz RAM. It's PC3, 12800. It's got timings of 99924 and it is 1.5 volts. And that's going to speed the system up. Uh, if you're going to be uh, purchasing this sort of stuff, you're going to make sure it's compatible with your motherboard. Okay, let's have a look at the AMD Trinity A10 5800K Black Edition Quad Core Unlocked Processor there. It's pretty decent and it's got a 3.8 GHz clock speed. This outperforms the i3-3220 and also has a built-in uh, GPU of 800 MHz, which is a 7660 DirectX. It also does other versions of this one called uh, uh, A10, A8 and A5. It's a, a really decent, it's got 10 cores, 4 for the actual CPU and uh, 6 for the GPU. It's got a 4 meg cache on that one as well. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, motherboard here. This is a Gigabyte motherboard. Uh, it's the new uh, FM2 socket that supports the new chips for AMD. Uh, this is the new chipset for the A85X chipset, which is the new uh, chipset. It's also ultra durable, which means you can leave it on as the capacitors are much more uh, better. It's got a 3D BIOS in this one, and we'll go into this in more detail in previous ones, but it's got 8x SATA support. Also, uh, can run crossfire on that if you wish. Okay, we have a little uh, wireless adapter here. This is uh, a TP Link, and it's uh, a wireless N, and uh, this is just a little USB adapter that I'll be using um, for that. Also we've got our Blu-ray player, which is the world's first BDXL drive. This is capable of reading from and writing to triple 100 gigabytes and quad 128 gigabyte layers on Blu-ray discs at four times. And uh, it supports a lot of uh, those uh, medias there, as you can see, and it's a 12 times. It's a pretty decent bit of kit for the money, really. So I'll be using this one. Uh, in my rig and also probably slip in there a little uh, uh, another DVD ROM drive for the second bay some of Mrs can play some music on that one if she wishes from her CDs and we have Windows 7 Home Premium and we're just gonna chuck that on the system there um, we don't need nothing else more than that really to be honest and there we have our uh, SATA drive it's our free terabyte uh, Barracuda SATA drive here um, pretty much uh, 
I'll have three of these eventually, hopefully, in the system, uh, all being well. And uh, that should be plenty of space. It does take up to eight drives, and uh, this one's pretty decent. Uh, it, it does pretty much everything I need it to do. It's got a 64 megabyte cache, also 7200 revs uh, per minute. So that's exactly all I need, really, for that system. And it's plenty upgradable, that case. So... Uh, yeah, pretty much I think that's going to be about it for this video. In the next one, we're going to be starting to put this all together. And uh, uh, hopefully uh, you guys will stick around and watch me put it together. And then in the third video, we'll start to install all the operating system and XBMC and get that all up and running so you can see it all in action. Okay, so stick around guys and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks again. Bye for now.